Greetings, users and programs. This is Itari Living Sacrifice trying out some Super Seducer 2. Um, you know, this is a game that we are recommended to play, so let's try it out. It's like a uh, pickup artist trial. Like, try, I guess it's supposed to teach you how to pick up women, or maybe women how to pick up men, or like, like how to talk, how to interact with people. You know, um, you know, good scenarios, bad scenarios, all that kind of stuff. So let's check it out. Let's see what it's all about. That rhymed. Nah, <laughs> it rhymed. Let's see here. We've already turned that down a little bit. Let's check it out. Story mode, Super Seducer 2. Posh Toddy versus Supermodel, Chapter 1. Chapter 1. Alright, she just stepped off a yacht, but the supermodel is just too sexy. The choice is yours. Goal. A number, sex, or kill your enemies. That's our goal, eh? Alright, let's try it out. Posh toddy. What is a posh toddy? Hmm. So serene. So serene. Whoa. Okie dokie. Why are there tanks involved? Arthur! I'm hungry, man. Let's go to the restaurant. Oh, because he's rich. I get it. He gets to play with tanks for fun. Why does this guy look so familiar? We should probably just Google it, huh? So we fucked up the grass again, dude. Not looking good. Not good at all. Uh. <laughs> what? What's happening here? Did he just pull his tank up to the country club? Is that what just happened? Eh. She's the supermodel? I think all the other women that he looked at before were way better looking. Maybe it's her outfit. Maybe it's her outfit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. Uh, she's checking her out too. Yeah, I I'm not a big fan of her fashion sense. She looks like way older. She looks way older than him. Maybe it's the outfit. Maybe it's the outfit. Don't approach her at all. Eat a kumquat. Catch her attention non-verbally. Gaze into her eyes whilst beckoning her with your fingers as if it's a penis. Go and tell her that she caught your eye and you can join her for a few minutes. Use the genius conversation starter from that YouTube guy. <laughs> Let's try this one. Let's try catching her attention non-verbally. The approach. Uh, that was awkward. Hey, listen, I was just sitting there, saw you, and you caught my eye, so I... I thought I'd come and say hi. How are you doing? Hi, I'm I'm fine. That's good to hear. Just coming for a spot of lunch. Ah, oh, lovely. Just, just a little spot of tea. This is a nice way to start because if you catch her attention before you actually walk up, uh, she has a chance to kind of get used to the fact that you're going to be talking to her. And if you kind of just walk up and she hasn't noticed you, it's a bit of a surprise when you suddenly start talking. So mm. it's a better way when you can do it. Yeah, mm. I think it's also a little bit romantic. Kind of, just a little bit like... Hi, I'm Lottie. Uh, Lottie, like Charlotte, yeah? Yes, it is. Ah, lovely yeah. to meet you. 
Good just thing. a little bit awkward. Girls like yeah, some girls like a little bit awkward. Not every girl, but some girls like a little awkward. So my wife tells me. Thank God. Or maybe she's just saying that to make me feel better about myself. I don't know. Order a tea cake, something for her. Order a tea cake, shot for confidence, something for her. Tell her not to bother. You are an important conversation. You know what? Everything on this menu sucks. Let's go back to my place. Say, hey, babe, the usual, please. I'll have a piece of cake. The lady will be eating my dick. <laughs> uh, let's go with this. Do you already know what you would like? I'm going to be naughty today. Uh-oh. I'm going to go for the chocolate cheesecake. Very nice. Naughty. And a lovely cup of tea, please. Okay, and I'm going to have the cherry cake, please, and English breakfast tea, but no milk. Okay. Thank you. Well. What is the latest or earliest time that I can have champagne? Oh. I don't know, that's a question. But if a guy came to sit with you, you wouldn't ask him to buy you champagne? No, but if he offered me a glass of champagne at 5.30 in the evening, that's well, quite romantic. Or yeah. just a okay. espresso. Interesting. Mahmoud, brother, call me urgently. Why would he pick up his phone? Ignore him, switch phone to silent. Call Mahmoud. If we're really... Trying to get her attention. Ignore him. Switch phone to silent. Sorry about that. Just someone messaging me. Let me put that on silent. I never do that. I never have my phone on when I'm talking to someone. No, oh, it's understandable. You know what? It's such a lovely day. Okay, they're not going to tell us. Amazingly, it's all summery, but it's got something to it, like a real interesting style you have. Thank Very you. Very nice. It's really nice of you to say. Well, it's true. So, what do you do? I'd like to know more about Richard. Okay, I work for a pharmaceuticals company and make YouTube videos of the truth. Marketing manager and I make YouTube videos, but I really love poetry. Make a joke, then tell the truth. I'm a mumble rapper. I make enough to give you $500 right now if you come home with me. Distract her and do the finger ring DHV routine instead. I work wonders in bed. Ah, uh, just tell the truth. Well, I've got two things. The, okay. the first is uh, pharmaceuticals business. Wow, you must be very intelligent. <laughs> what what, what oh, in the pharmaceuticals do you do exactly? Well, we just have different drugs for different ailments and illnesses and conditions. So okay. that's the business, you know, like normal pharmaceuticals business. Yeah. Second thing is a little bit different is uh, YouTube. So I make YouTube videos. Oh, that is exciting. So exciting. That sounds amazing. What do you do for that? Well, that's like the creative side and the other sides, you know, yeah. the business side. But I've got all different videos and um, have to make like a new one every Tuesday and wow. yeah, just trying to grow the channel and yeah. get advertising and stuff. So that's fantastic. Good on you. Thank you. Brilliant. Well, she's enjoying this conversation That's so good. far. Correct option. Yeah, I mean, telling the truth is always fine, right? Yeah, I think there's nothing wrong with being honest about what you do. She's going to find out sooner or later. And what do you do for work? Oh, well, um, I don't really need to work, but I Just do think. a spot of acting. Ah, lovely. You yeah. know, something interesting I've noticed. I've met some actors and they're always very interesting people because they're empathetic. And that's, Absolutely. I think it's because when they're acting, they have to portray all these emotions. So uh -huh. they just understand people and emotions. They can read they body do. language. And yeah, and that's what I love. I just love studying people and their nature. Mm. Um, and it's a really good way to connect with people on a really deep level that not necessarily you can do in reality. <laughs> yeah, and actors, they think they're kind of extroverts that wouldn't connect with people. But because of this, you can really you can get feel it there, and yeah. you can get the vibe. It's amazing. Interesting. It's yeah. a very cool job, actually. Yeah, it is. It's, it's nice to dip in and out, mm. obviously. So, hey, do you recognise her in the car? Yes, I do. I think... Who is I she? I think it's that famous Russian model. What's her name? I don't know. But God, yeah. she's beautiful, isn't she? Yeah, not bad. Wow. Uh, who's she fingering over? Continue talking to the girl in cafe, approach girl in car. Continue talking to the girl in the cafe. Yeah, modeling's all right, but acting's much more interesting, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I, so much I more varied. Mm -hmm. It is as well, I think. With like that would ever happen. 
Yeah. Acting, you have to feel. We have to show certain personality yeah. and be different characters Absolutely. and stuff. Absolutely, yeah. just feel that emotion. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how realistic these these situations yeah, are yet. Does that mean you're more interested than usual in I don't know, like TV shows and stuff. Like, are these things you and I could actually use? Thank you. I, I guess if you live in Hollywood, like, this might happen. Uh, Silicon Valley, actually. I like that show. That's a cool show. I like that show. Basically, like really intelligent guys that love technology. Are you like intelligent guys? I do. I mm. love t intelligent guys. I think you're quite intelligent. <laughs> Oh, well, well thank you. But I've got my own kind of You've got business own intelligence little ways, and street yeah. smarts. Well, I, think, <laughs> you know, I, I can relate to the, the intelligence side because I'm quite intelligent. Oh. So I need to end up with someone of my standard. Cool. It's um, a, good to know. I just love the way they invent things. Um, yeah. And I think I'd be quite good at that as well. So, yeah, that's a, a Silicon Valley's way. What about you? If you have to tell someone you're intelligent, how intelligent are you? Handmaiden, have you seen that? The Handmaid's Tale? Oh, that I've one? heard of that. Yeah, that yeah. one is messed up, actually. It's yeah. quite, um, it's not a comedy, obviously. It's like some dystopian parallel future where everything uh, goes wrong, where women, um, when the birth rate just drops near zero, and they round oh, up all no. of the women that can still have babies. Yeah. And they kind of put them with the important men to, to mate. Wow. And it's quite messed up, but it's really, really good and interesting. Have you seen it? No, you seen I, it? no, no, I haven't. Oh, you should this game, though. Yeah, sounds quite interesting. I'd have to um, see if I like it. Mm -hmm. You know, it might be a little bit for me, but um, yeah, I can always see. Have you played this before, Zetrix? Zetrix? Have you played this before? Because this is... Uh... This is, I have no idea what to think of this game yet. I don't know. Talk about how it's cool to meet people like her that are not boring. Tell her your latest video was a dating advice video for men. Tell her to look under the table for a surprise. Spoiler, it's your dick. Feed her some cake. <laughs> Spike her drink with a drug to make her more compliant. Damn. No, you have not played this either. I don't even really call it a game. I, I, I guess it would be more like a, a long tutorial. Um, I'm sure we can learn some things from it, but so far, this one is not that good. Now, this is only the first episode and all that, but yeah, really not that good. I have tried the first one. I only played the first episode. I did that yesterday, actually, and I figured I'd skip to the second one for a little bit and go back to the first one. Yeah, simulator. Simulator. But uh, yet the ones that I, the one or two that I played yesterday on the first one were way better, way more informational. Um, like actually dug down into it, and it wasn't so long and drawn out either. Like this conversation, like holy crap! Um, uh, talk about how it's cool to meet people like her that are not boring. Yes, yeah, so let's uh, feed her some cake. Let's feed her some cake. Mm -mm -mm, this cake looks lovely. Let's we'll see if she likes okay, it. Come, why don't you try just a little bit before you try yours? Uh, I'm come okay. On, come get it. No, no, I'm, I don't really like coconut. So you don't like coconut? No. Hmm. No. I thought he thought he said the cherry cake. Some good stuff. A little too early in the relationship for that. Feeding you cake? No. Feed I'm you not some a fruit. Baby. Thank you. But later, if there's some sexual tension? Oh, yeah, I mean, again, I suppose this is why it's orange. I can't really call it. Might work sometimes. Yeah. But, but it's risky. Mm, risky. Should have went for E. <laughs> yes, probably. I knew it was a dangerous one. Mm. Good, yeah? Do you have any special diet restrictions, you know? Well, like sometimes it's gluten intolerant. But, sometimes um, only. Yeah. Partial like, gluten intolerant. <laughs> sometimes if I eat too much gluten, then uh. my stomach like becomes a balloon. Ah. So I have to monitor what I eat. All right. Um, but yeah, I've been on the paleo diet before. Oh, that's healthy, yeah. Because in paleo times, everyone lived a long time. So <laughs> vegetables and meat <laughs> the whole time, mostly meat. So I'm just constantly eating meat, which is delicious. 
So not a vegan. Yeah. Okay, play cards with her. So he totally just like insulted her by saying, "Yeah, I guess cause since people used to live forever back in those days to the ripe old age of 22 or 23." Um Wow. Okay, play cards with these Brad P's 10-minute seduction seduction questions. Use a question from the Marcel Proust questionnaire. I don't know what a Marcel Proust questionnaire is. What are you thinking? You do B or C. I don't want to play cards with her. That would be that'd be stupid. Do you have a choice? I don't I don't really see much of a difference between the two. Let's just go for C, I guess. I was reading this article and have you heard of Marcel Proust? The author. No, no, I haven't. He wrote a book, uh, Swan's Way or something, it's a classic, and okay. he was talking about his life. And he came up with this questionnaire where he asked a bunch of questions and it was actually really interesting. So for oh, example, wow. the f one of the questions was, what's your idea of perfect happiness? So I was thinking about it and yeah, how would you answer that? Wow, what a question. I'm not to put you on the spot, but I it should know. be easy, right? It's happiness. Um, my idea of happiness would be on my boat mm. in the middle of the ocean Oh, wow. Surrounding myself with Chanel handbags. Not massive waves crashing down, no? no. What's that weird mechanical noise Peaceful. in the background? Maldives. Peaceful, like, ocean. Is it the camera moving? Fabulous. Mm -hmm. I do love, I actually have a house in the Maldives. Oh, lovely. Um, and yeah, you can I hear the camera zooming in and out. That's so annoying. Because you need them on the boat. Yeah. Now I can't unhear it. There's just one thing lacking. Like, uh -huh. I, I would like a man yeah. on the boat with you. Should he be, like, tanned and sitting in his... Yeah. His bathing suit. Yeah, with his speedos on. With yeah. His handbag. Well, <laughs> he can have a handbag and then give it to me. <laughs> yeah. uh, this was a tricky one because we didn't let you know what the question would be, but obviously um, this one's pretty good and can lead to a good conversation. And in general, I would say that if you're going to be going on dates, you should ensure that you have a couple of interesting things to talk about and even having a few interesting questions like this in your back pocket is a good thing to have so that you're not at risk of running out of things to this say. This guy in the back it's looks so bored. Open up a conversation where you can maybe veer off onto something else that you both have interest in. So Richard, mm -hmm. what's your philosophy on life? I guess it's pretty simple, but it's taken me a long time to get there. But for me, it's all about finding the things I really enjoy in life mm -hmm. and doing more of them and finding the things that I don't like. I used to be bothered all the time with phone calls, um, oh, doing okay. annoying stuff, filling in forms and all of that bureaucracy stuff I don't mm -hmm. like. So uh, just to arrange my life so that I'm happy with the way it is every day and just uh, you know, the simple things make me happy. So it's more harmonised yeah. and balanced as well. Yeah, and an absence of bad things is, is yeah. more important than having loads of good stuff. You know, if you just get rid of all the things you don't like, then you're left with... Happiness. Yeah, just... Uh, it's magical. The simple kind of happiness that is like contentment every day, so that you don't have uh, depression or stress, that your mood is kind of... I get that. You know. Yeah, I get that. That's hmm. Magical. Whoa! Whoa! What should he do? What are we gonna do? I hope I won't ever be that old. I wanna die young with you. Ignore it and carry on. Help the granny up. Take your phone out and start filming it. That's hilarious. Let's go help the granny up. Is she alright there? Is she okay? Hi. Hi. You okay? Yeah, get her up. She didn't help her up at all. We didn't need ten more people. Take her granny. Yeah. Oh God, poor old lady. Yeah. It might be the heat or something. Yeah, it is quite hot. Yeah. Hopefully she's okay. Yeah. I guess it's not a heart attack or something, is it? It's just no, it's not a heart attack. Fun, a funny turn, my granny used to call it. I've yeah. had a funny turn. It's just <laughs> Funny turn. Yeah. Exactly. No, I don't think it's anything. Well, I hope not. Yeah, she'll be okay. Need some water or something, yeah? Yeah. She'll be okay eventually. Uh, yes. <laughs> well done for helping the granny and not leaving her there on the floor. You're or... so kind. Yeah. <laughs> Good one, yeah. <laughs> 
So um, you need to send me your YouTube link so oh, yeah, I, yeah, can I can do that. DMCA you. You what? You heard about that? No, that's fucked up actually. The DMCA. Mm -hmm. Oh. From Wanker. Used a bit of his music. Copyright strike. And I think it's three, and then they shut you down. So. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty messed up. Yeah. Mm. What? You okay? Tell that your body is pretty fucked, but your dick works perfectly. Say it's nothing serious, just a twinge. Say that you're wearing a medical corset and the doctor said you can finally take it off tonight. It happened when I was picking up a baby that was walking out onto the road. Lie. What? It's no biggie, it's just a bit of a twinge, you know, in the back. I think it happened, I did some gym, and then I went out feeding the squirrels, and I'm oh. like bending forward and stuff, and yeah. I was like, oh. No, it's sometimes that, that can happen. Yeah, it'll be all right. And if yeah. not, I'm going to get just uh, get some stem cells. and then. <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> all right. Yeah. Get some stem cells. Yeah, just get some no stem one cells. Simona. No, no, guys with physical ailments, you know. Well, ones that whine about it. You don't want to be hanging around with someone who's whining all the time. Mm -hmm. The other bad thing for my back was um, I was sitting for a long time because I had Chinese lessons. I was um, learning Chinese. Really? Yeah, 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 because it's a hard uh, language. I think it's the Dark Souls of languages. It's, so I thought it's uh, ridiculously hard. Would she know what Dark Souls is? Uh, <laughs> oh, brilliant. Fabulous. Oh. Yeah. Etc. Yeah. What are you saying? Uh, a bunch of different stuff. I said, have you eaten? I said, oh. uh, <laughs> something about how you look. And oh. I said, like, I speak Chinese, but not very well. And yeah, <coughs> basic phrases. Hypnotize her with your teacup beat. Find a superficial commonality. If you could wake up anywhere in the world, where would it be? Commit a criminal act together to bond with her. Uh... I don't know about the whole criminal act. It could be something really tiny. Uh, I kind of want to see what happens. Hypnotize her with your teacup. I want to see this. And you know what, Charlotte? I find tea to be very, very relaxing. Sometimes just the thought of drinking some tea. What? There's no way. The sound of the spoon in the cup as it stirs is enough to relax. That's right. As you listen, you might notice the eyelids start to feel heavy. They can close. It feels good. What are we doing? That's right. And now, I want you to notice that you have strong feelings of attraction towards me. Okay. Feel them growing in your body, deep inside. So yeah, this one is way not as useful as the first one. They're giving you all this like weird stuff. Now, whenever... I touch my cup will be more and more attracted. In a second, I will wake you up as I count from one to ten. You'll slowly come back to me, feeling bright eyed and bushy tailed. <laughs> one. She's gonna be a squirrel. <laughs> two, She's gonna start being like. Slowly coming back, feeling the wind. Four, five, six. Back to your body. Oh my god, I'm bored. More and more awake. Seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go, bright eyed and bushy tailed. Did you fall asleep there for a second? Were you daydreaming? Uh, yeah. How do you feel? Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. 
So obviously this is exactly the thing to do all day. <laughs> um, if it's not going to well, or even if it is a bit of hypnosis to... Are you, can you actually hypnotise? I can. <laughs> no, genuinely, can you, or...? I can. Definitely, do you believe me? No. <laughs> I bet you $100 I can hypnotise you. Okay, go for it. No, let's just shake on it first. Okay. And sleep. Get off. <laughs> Hundred bucks richer. Great. Oh, I didn't mean now. Do it later. But it works, but you shouldn't do it as well. Obviously not hypnotizing people on a date. Even if you can do it, and even if you can't do it, I no, can do it. Either war. But I won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why is he checking out another girl? Yeah, big surprise. Wow. Oh. Get out. Get out. That's from the first game. I remember her. Give her a little wave. Hide from her. Proudly proclaim that you slept with her. Give her a little wave. Hey, Anastasia. Hey. Hey. How you doing? You look so nice. Great dress. Okay. I don't remember her. How's Anna? Oh my. Um, how, are you still dating that guy? Um, okay. Hi, nice to see you. What what did she say? She said that you got a small dick. <laughs> That's very true though. <laughs> no, bad move. Um not going to end well. Not going to end well there. Okay. Okay, tell her that you'll sing, and if your singing is good, then it must mean your dick is huge. Say that you're, it's your jealous ex, and she always does that. Tell her that you, in fact, don't have a small dick. Tell that really small dick and joke about it. Yes. Man, what did she say? Small? Yeah, she said that you've got a small dick and that you can't sing. <laughs> no, 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 it's, it's fine. It's a normal... Decent size. She just, I think she was dating this guy, like a basketballer, and mm -hmm. she had sex with a horse or something. How? I don't know. <laughs> uh, that's quite a big banana to me. It? It's, it's reminiscent of that. Is it this big? Yeah, it's about that big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. something like that. Yeah. No, that's exact. That is the opposite of what I clicked. That is the opposite. Super small. I literally said to say super small. Yeah, it's all right. Mm. I literally said to say super small. Am I okay, honest? I mean, how is that okay? <laughs> being honest, he said be honest. It's just being a little crude on a first date. I'm just yeah, like, but she brought it up. Talking generally, thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> so, are you? Uh, yeah, I am actually. Currently single. Well, she's playing with her hair. That's good. That's good. Um. Currently. Fancy meeting again? Currently single. Tell her that she better meet you again or you will kill yourself. Suggest feeding the squirrels together or maybe just meet for a drink. You are agenda fluid and can meet anytime. Say your Pornhub premium subscription is about to roll over. You'll need to buy another year if we don't get it on. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. Let's let's go. Let's suggest feeding the squirrels. Let's meet again soon. Mm-hmm. We could, what could we do together? We could go feed squirrels together? Yeah. I'd love to feed like the squirrels. Squirrel. Aww. Or just go for a drink. Yeah, one or the other. Next thing, great. Okay. Nice one, the classic squirrel feeding session. Classic? Always a winner with, uh, yeah, the ladies for sure. Right? But of course, I find this on every occasion. <laughs> every night, squirrel feeding night. Excellent, yeah. I just get the check, actually. <laughs> so what's your plan for the coming week? You busy? Um, well, I have a... Squirrel. I've always wanted to feed the squirrel. Um, Just one? Yeah, well, tomorrow. Yeah. Excellent. I have them like once a week. Um, I've got to get my nails redone. Uh, I've got a shopping trip. Actually. I am not attracted to this girl nice at all. Yeah. Oh, I've got a Pilates class as well. Excellent. So so like not even a little bit. Or... Well, the Pilates can be quite strenuous. That's actually. true, actually. Yeah, yeah. could be. So... Okay, suggest that she pays and that you'll get the next one. You pay because you are a gentleman. Go to the toilet so she needs to pay. Play five lies to see who pays. Ooh, that one sounds fun, actually. Let's do that one. 
Hey, let's do something a little bit interesting. Let's do this. Let's play a game and thank you. Whoever wins, uh, yeah, if you win, I'll pay. And if I win, you pay. All right? <laughs> it's called Five Flies. Really easy. Okay. I've heard this one. I know this one. Five times. Do you think you could do that? Well, I could lie. Yeah. Yeah, all okay. right. Okay, we're going to start, right? So, that, number one, I'm going to ask you a question. What color is your shirt? Pink. Ah, see, that's it. Exactly, that's what you need to do. Okay. Uh, what is, what is, what is, what's a country in the Mediterranean? South Africa. Oh, <laughs> you got it. That's very good. All right, doing well so far. I'm going to try and catch you out. So, um, what's the name of the last president of the United States? The last president. Am I meant to lie? Oh. Well, I um, mean, if you want to win. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, let's say Gordon Brown. And good one, good one. <laughs> All right, hang on a minute. So, you needed to lie five times. How many questions was that? I've done three. <laughs> <laughs> you see? Okay, yeah, cool game. <laughs> so, but let's imagine okay. you got it right. So, if I said, how many was that? Three. But that's the... Oh, five. You, exactly. <laughs> oh, have you played this before? And you say no, and... She didn't like that. All right, so thank you. Luckily, I didn't order any Cristal or lobster, so... I guess she doesn't like that. Okay. okay. Nice one. Uh, five Lies is a pretty cool game. You could play it in this scenario. Uh, you could play it almost at any time in an interaction, on a date. Uh, it's just pretty fun, so you can always try it. Yeah, fun, lighten up the mood, always a good one. Yeah, but she does not like the fact that she lost. Take her number, agree to meet again, ask if she has other slutty friends for different days of the week. Okay. So we should definitely meet again soon. Why don't I give you my phone and just unlock it? And you can just put your number in there and I'll be in touch. Great. Okay. Right option, uh, setting up the second date, all good. Well, thank you for that little interjection. Um, she sounds... What was I saying? Uh, you were just going to put your number in. Yeah, of course. You want to meet again? Yes, of course I want to meet you. Yeah. You're so lovely. Uh, That's right. I think... Um, Why is she... Probably the nicest guy I've been on a date with in a long time. Mm. Ooh, already a date. To come. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> because you've hypnotised her. <laughs> Um, what you do is, during the hypnosis, you establish an anchor, which is either a touch or an action or something. And then when you do that again later, giggity, it giggity, triggers the yeah. hypnosis state and she slips right back into the trance. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the technical aspect of it. But... But morally... Morally... Wrong. Hypnotise your date. Bad. It's slightly worrying if you do. Yeah, but you can hypnotise someone to help them quit smoking with their consent or... Yeah, that's the whole point. You need consent. You consent can't. is important. Yeah. God, this whole, this whole, whenever they go back to that group of people, that's just weird. This is a nice way to weird. start because if you catch her attention before you actually walk All right, up, so yellow is bad, right? How do we skip? Okay. What is the latest or earliest time that I... So they're just going to repeat, That's good. Re Correct. repeat, Option. repeat and repeat. Yeah, so, feeding you cake? No. Okay, that was a bad option. No one likes a Mona. Hypnotize her with Obviously, the teacup, bad. Give her a little wave, bad. This Tell her you have a really nice. small dick and joke about it. I mean, how is that okay? No, okay. Mm. Being honest, you said Let's just go to the next level, because that, that level is... Boring. I